What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. It is November 3rd, 2009. We're just less than 30 days away from uh, the new year. So far, it's this year has gone really fast. We've seen a, a lot of interesting changes happening in the world of Gundam. From uh, some incredible Master Grade kits that's been released to a phenomenal, perfect grade that should be out soon and I bet this bet YouTube is going to be inundated with people building uh, perfect grade double O riser so this is something that I'm looking forward to uh, I hope that everyone enjoyed turn A Gundam Master Grade I've enjoyed it myself it was a uh, it was pretty cool to build it wasn't a chore that I had before Pr pretty much reminded me of the time when I built uh, uh, Zaku 2 2.0, Char's Custom. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm now planning on building... Well, before I say this, I was, I was, I was planning on building uh, Exia Master Grade. But I've been looking at the cover of Gun Tank for quite some time that I just... I just cannot ignore it. I have to build that tank. I really, really want to build that tank. It looks really nice. I like to build armored tanks myself. Uh, I have a few uh, tanks that I'll show off later on in uh, when I start building uh, gun tanks to show some some interesting references in uh, combat vehicles and armored vehicles. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you these two models here that I have for quite some time. Uh, these are kits that I've built way, way before I started uh, recording uh, videos on YouTube. As you can see here, this is the 1-100 scale Justice Gundam from the Seed series. Um, it's it's a cool scale. Obviously, it's 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 not a very good scale to have standing up because the backpack flying unit tends to be a lot. A very little, uh, excuse me, extremely back heavy, so I have to actually keep it in that pose. That's, you know, I, I'm trying to get myself another action base one just to support it in, in flight mode, but either way, I just probably will leave it the way it is and use the action base for something else. The uh, other vehicle that you're seeing there, and if you can give me a second, I'm trying to remember what it was called. Uh, uh, first of all, I, I've had this kit, this black kit, for a very, very long time. This came out during the 80, maybe 88, 87, when a TV series known as uh, Robotech hit the airways on Channel 7. Actually, it hit a lot earlier. Um, but, Ravel began releasing these robot models... Uh, on t at Toys R Us stores all over the place uh, f for a good price. I think it was like less than 20 or 15. I, I don't even remember at the time. But they, uh, they've, you know, they've introduced a lot of the Macross kits into the series. But they also introduced these kits from a series known as Dogram. Now, what you see here is a kit called Sultic. Uh, it w it was not named Sultic in the model. It was named something, some weird name, which I don't remember at the time. But it was so cool and it was so cheap, I had to get it. At the time, it was like amazing to see that there are actually models of this scale. This is actually a 172nd scale version of the kit. Pretty big. It has this nice little uh, rocket pack. This has been painted using a, uh, you know, black paint. I did it exactly what the um, the box art said, if you watch the animated uh, series or, or look at some of the art uh, artwork on the original kits from the box, it's a different color tone. I think it's dark green with a bit, with a, with a pale, with I think pale white where the arms and legs are, and I think here was red, but uh, it was this is pretty cool. This is very old, it's very dusty. And I've had this for quite some time. The side shield that I've had here was lost during trans transit when we were, when I moved here. 
So, I think it's cool either way. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show off. Now, other than that, I I swore that I was not going to get no more uh, models. I was going to hold out until next year. But I'll tell you something, guys. I never pass up on a good deal. If I see a kit that is very, very cheap for its price, and it's very, very hard to get, I will take it. I will take advantage of it. With that being said, I got the white base from Double O Gun... from... <laughs> Double O... Uh, from uh, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam uh, 0078 series. Now, there's white base uh, models out there, uh, smaller ones, and even the EX kit. But the EX kit is at 1 1700 scale. This, on the other hand, is a 1 1200 scale kit. This is a big kit, bigger than, of course, the EX kits. It is very simple, not that many parts, but it's big. And I liked it, and I got it for 20 and I'm really really psyched to build it so I'm gonna start building this guy soon once I have the opportunity but I'm now gonna be focusing on gun tank that's gonna be my next kit to build so I thank you all for watching this quick vid I will do other quick vids maybe later on um, maybe way before I start uh, releasing gun tank but uh, thank you guys all again and Stay tuned.